Hey everybody, this is JB here, welcoming you to a special mini Let's Play of Rock 1, a Chips Challenge level set made by Chips Challenge player Rock Jinneru. And once again, Rock, I hope I pronounced that correctly. I know I've butchered your name in the past, and I'm sorry for that. Anyhow, this level set is about 50 levels, so it won't be as long of a Let's Play as my previous Chips Challenge endeavor. And it's going to be a little bit different as well, as I mentioned in my channel update, because it's... Uh, semi-blind. I haven't really played these levels before except for about the first two or three and that was during a failed recording session where there was tons of lag and I hope that's been resolved now. Also I've kind of lo looked a little bit in these levels in the editor and not too much but I just, just to get an idea of what they're like and they definitely look interesting so I'm gonna provide some commentary about them as I go through. Uh, just uh, think, telling Rock what I think of them and uh, well telling you guys too. So anyhow let's get started. This is called the Inner Plague, and it looks like it's basically a number of concentric squares, about three, uh, with teeth around them, and you just have to get these chips. And yeah, this isn't too hard. You just have to make sure that you uh, align yourself and the teeth correctly. And if you can do that, you're pretty much going to be A-OK. -okay. Man, A-OK, -okay. I haven't said that in a long time. All right, let's go ahead and snatch that one up. All right, now we got all four of them coming after us, so we got to watch out. But thankfully, these are the last ten or so, so let's just take them for one more trip around. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Haven't died yet. This is looking well. All right, 51 seconds. Not too bad. All right, the next level is called Convergence, and I remember seeing this level in one of Rock's preview videos for his level set. It's basically a radial symmetry sort of thing, and I know Rock loves radial symmetry, where you have to go and uh, press a button, and then it will just do this chain reaction. And it seems like no matter which of the four buttons you're forced to press at the beginning, you'll get the same result, and I just died. The same result being that one of the middle cloners on each side will clone, and the chain reaction will start from there. And since the monster order, I think, is the same all the way around, no matter which button you press, the same result, yeah, like that trap right there is always going to be the case. During one of my botched recording sessions, that had, yeah, that actually happened. So let's try one more time. I wonder what would happen if I went counterclockwise. That would be an interesting idea. I should try that. But yeah, just watch out for the same things no matter where you go, like that, as I mentioned earlier. And boom, there you go, 47 seconds. Alrighty, let's move on to Genuine. That's an interesting level name. Alright, so be careful not to boost there and get a glider from the back. I don't know how that hurts you, though. I mean, how do you sneak up on a glider and have it hit you? I mean, that doesn't make sense. I mean, if a glider hits you from, you know, like, from its front, the pointed part, that I can understand. But if you're just sneaking up on it and attacking it, how does that hurt you? I guess we have to assume that all of Chip's or Melinda's monsters are poisonous or something. I mean, blobs I can understand and all that, but, I mean, this is a little ridiculous. Okay, so thankfully no weird tricks there with the teeth, or not teeth, the bugs and getting those chips and the walls they follow, like in levels like loopholes. And here we just have to get some chips, it looks like. Okay, did I miss anything? I think that was it. Are these dead ends? Yep, those are dead ends. Okay, is this a dead end? Yes. We already went there. Okay, good. Alright, so now we're free to go inside here. Okay, we get some fireball action. Whoa, that is kind of risky there. Okay, I was almost expecting another ball to pop out. Thankfully, that was not the case. Alrighty, level 3 done. That was pretty fun. Alright, hockey game. Okay, so that ball doesn't even move. Whoa, 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 okay. This is just chaos. Okay, so do I want to get that key? I don't even... Whoa, okay. Got to watch out for all the players going all over the place here. Okay, so what all do I need to do? Okay, so that leads directly up. So I'm going to have to take a risk. And as Rock would say, this is lucky timing, which thankfully I managed to survive. And up here we get... Wait, did I just release all the fans into the stadium? 
those that those toggle walls they held in all those gliders that were sitting in the bleachers or whatever those are called. I'm sorry, guys. I've never been to a real hockey game in my life, and I know hockey is really popular in Canada where Rock is from. So whoa, okay, I did release. Whoa, okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is. Wow, did oh my goodness. I guess this is like a locker room, and maybe these are all the players. Oh, come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's try that one more time. So, yeah, maybe that's like the locker room, and that those are all the players, like, all excited after they won. That would be a really funny concept. I like that a lot. So, is there anything here before I... Okay, good. That's just where they come in. Okay, so all you need to do is just get all these chips and not die. That's the main thing. And I probably uh, made a humongous mistake by doing that. Okay, I probably should have gone for these two chips first, because if a glider came all the way back here, it would get stuck. Okay, good. It would get stuck in that little 3x1 spot. And Oh, come on, really? Okay, okay, okay. One more time. I know I can get this. Okay, thankfully that lucky timing bit's not too bad. And I can, I guess I can get over there without having to worry about uh, a glider getting stuck there and get these chips first. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just keep on uh, going this way, and I'll go ahead and get these now that I'm here. But yeah, if a glider gets trapped there, it's just going to bounce around between those two chips, and they'll be pretty much unreachable. Okay, okay, be careful here, JB, be careful. This is looking kind of hairy. Whoa, one more chip. Whoa, okay, one more chip. Okay, watch out, whoa. Okay, what? Oh, man. Okay, I should definitely get those first. All right, everybody. This isn't a long level, so it's not terribly hard to go back and do everything after you mess up. Okay, I'll get those two first, and then I'll get that third one over there when I'm coming around. Yeah, like this. That way, it's just a simple matter of, well, okay... It's a simple matter of getting through that outer track and then going to the exit. See, I have to assume that these are locker rooms. I hope that's what Rock had in mind, because it's a really funny idea. Maybe these are like toilets or something. Oh, man. This is evil. This is... My monster dodging skills are a little off. But maybe if I just get it through this a little faster, it might not be so bad. Maybe that's the key, is just to make it through this level a little faster. Okay, get these first, of course, and get these. Yeah, so maybe these are like bathroom stalls. Oh, I forgot to get... Ooh, I forgot to get that one. Not good, JB. Okay. It's still possible that... Ah! Oh! Okay, come on, Rock. Come on, man. Alright. Alright, alright. One more time. One more time. I can do this. This isn't bad. I'm just making really dumb mistakes when it comes to dodging. You'll notice I'm probably not the most seasoned dodger in the world. At least not without a bold route to follow. Because, like, if I follow the bold route and there's no randomness involved, it's predictable and I can do the same thing every time. But if I'm not following an optimized route, it's kind of a little hard. Okay. So just wait there. Okay, that part I remember. Okay. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay, good. That may have been a bad idea. Okay, yes! Made it. Alright, the easiest one. Question mark, as Rock would say. Let's see, what does this do? Was that right? Was I supposed to go here? Okay, there's a bunch of blobs. Hmm. So where is this going? Okay, I just have to get that one chip there. Is that what I need to do? Or is, is this like one of those levels where the exit's really easy to reach? And oh, Okay, I see. There's a cloner there. Uh-oh. I get the feeling that this is one of those levels where you, the exit is incredibly easy to reach, and no, it is guard by chip sockets, but... Okay, okay, JB, stop making dumb mistakes here. Okay, is there anything here hidden under the... Okay, good, there's not. 
kind of makes you wonder, though, is there anything hidden under the tiles that would... Or wait, no, I get it now. The reason why it's called the easiest one question mark is because it looks all nice and open, and the blobs come in, and yeah, okay, now I get it. Okay, so the easiest one refers to, hey, it looks all nice and, you know, like nice day, it's all nice and open, and then you hit the button and boom, blobs are going everywhere, so this is crazy. Okay, so I had to get that ship all the way down there. It shouldn't be too bad, though. As long as I keep a distance of two or more spaces between me and a blob, it shouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, as long as I can just do that. There is a there is a level by Tyre Thawley Ansrath. Uh, if I remember right, it was called Squick, and it was pretty much like this, where there was this one blob cloner, and, and then it had, like, all this one ball or something that was constantly cloning the blobs, and... You basically had to do this humongous item swapper amidst this humongous area. And, of course, the blobs just kept piling up and up, and they all cloned from the middle, too, so it wasn't like a corner like this one. I suppose if you find those kinds of levels fun, it would be an interesting level, but if you're not into randomness, you probably wouldn't have very much fun with it. But anyhow, we're almost to the end, and here we go. Chip socket and exit. All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here for now, guys. Uh, I got to go to work here in a few minutes and uh, get ready beforehand, but this has been a fantastic first five levels, Rock, so I've really been enjoying the set so far, and I hope to play it more here in the days to come. So for now, this is JB saying goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to playing The Police next time. So I'll see you then.